All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Um, forgive me if you guys hear like a fan in the background when I'm talking. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that, but this hall, it, it's pretty hot today and this hallway is not, not it. So I'm, I'm actually dying of heat. So, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. Uh, we got a couple things that we're going to be checking out. Yeah, we had this mission here um, that I wanted to start with. So again, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing this series. I hope everybody's having a great day today. And this was a mission. We had to go find, what was it? Uh, seeks help to, uh, seeks to help a squad of Tanakhs. We're a long way from home, but Tanakhs are dangerous to approach without backup. All right. So at first I thought the Otaru were like a faction of the Tanakh, but they're actually not. They're, uh, they're like their own thing. Let's see what's up. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanakh is holed up in that cave. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spear at my side. Damn, bro, then just leave him alone. I'll do what I can. He's like, if things get out of hand, then we'll just kill him, but it's you like- there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. So watch hockey. Uh, re in real life, we watch some AHL, um, but that's about it. So guys, how you doing today? Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaru. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? Forgot what this you mission said you're is. On a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked the claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. Terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead, spotted the herd. No, I should have spotted that canister. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to not, but offered to Utaru in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. I'm talking all that shit, man. The youngins, chat. The youngins. What do you need? Supplies. 
Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at Riverwatch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route. When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of Riverwatch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on a brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. The thing I love about Horizon is like the technology that they have. It's primitive, but then it's futuristic at the same. It's like a really, really cool mix. The ruin is this way. The hell is that? Thunder jaw down there. Will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is. That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that. Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. It was annoying as shit. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the Outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. There are strangers in these lands. Just like you, Eagle. <laughs> we got wide maws down here. Oh! Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. Oh, there's a mission up there, too. We'll check that out later on. I think there's any sharks in this damn game, right? We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Machine's weak to fire. Might be able to bypass these guys. No, I actually think we have to clear these guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to clear them out. All right, so these flying machines are weak to fire. It's gonna be annoying, but we got it. Machines, I'm going in. No, Aloy's on point. Follow her lead. Just gonna try to see if I can hack uh, this burrower, get him on my side.
Gonna throw that nowhere is near far enough. Oh, they're really, really weak to fire. Another burrower over here. Damn it. Uh, what cauldron override a burrower? It was this one here. Um, the whatever one was a yeah. You have to finish. It's actually part. I think it's tied to the story. No, 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 no. It was. It was this right here. Yeah, it's Matt. Uh, it was this one right here. Cauldron Mew. And then there was another cauldron here, uh, or this repair bay that you get like a few other things from, but... I could grab the supplies for Sakura while I'm poking around in here. Still up there bickering at each other. Should be at the top of the tower, but how to get up there? So we can blow that fire gleam there. So we're going to need this for scaling up there.
we go. Laz, if I was a rapper, I wouldn't be playing video games for a living. Nice, that was actually some really good stuff. We even got a claw shard of tail from that. But if I became popular with sure. Yeah, but I, I I don't know how to rap, so. If I knew how to rap, then I could potentially do that, but I'm... Small cash. Can't be the supply score. I'm it. not like my Better man Harry Mack. That's my boy. Can you buy... I, I think you could buy almost all the machine parts for the most part. I see, I gotta get all the way up here. Ah, uh, YouTube purchase subscribers? Oh yeah, of course, inactive accounts. So like if, uh, it happens with a lot of people who like subscribe with multiple accounts, but they main like one. So say like, you know, for instance, UK, you have like four accounts, right? And then you subscribe to my channel with all four, but you really only use one of them all the time. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. Depending on how uh, much you actually visit the channel with those different accounts, um, your other accounts eventually will get purged. Jackson and Sakura are in trouble. How do I rate I this game? Uh, my all-time favorites? Um, I'd say the Horizon series, probably, probably in my top 10, 15 games of all time. It's it's phenomenal series. Better check on Jackson Sakura. How much damage did it take? It, all, it, it did take quite a bit of damage, though. Have I heard about a possible? I, I never heard anything about that, Bubba. And 
Andy, we're doing good. We're doing good. How does I, I I don't know how the game runs on other systems. I've only I only played it on mine, so I don't know how this game performs on other systems. I, I don't do like that's just that's not really my lane for content. Like there's plenty of guys out there that cover like how games perform on different rigs and shit like that. I just play them. <laughs> Right. Well fought, Eagle. Though I wasn't so afraid you had taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakhth will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The Korras would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Oh, Robert, no, nah, dude, I wasn't actually upset. I was just busting balls, man. I was surprised that it was actually a thing, though, because I literally just spit that off the top of my head randomly. So it was, it was, it was more funny than anything that that actually ended up being a thing. Bad Monkey with almost two years. Holy, love this game. Thanks for playing. I, I, I love this game myself. It's so good. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, they want us to cross the water, but I don't think a bristleback can swim. Cars are camping. Let's see what they have for sale. Nothing great, honestly. Sell our valuables. They were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Looks like a hard drive. Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Whew. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. 
Oh, you mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving. Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? I want a mobile cover system. Maybe we still can. Uh, Tojo, the savior of the forest uh, with the 28 months, man. Um, think I might have to get this game. Awesome stream. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. And uh, Novark with the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate it. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. Ha! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not a chance unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm going to follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. Now... I think for this mission, aren't we going to need... No, maybe not. So I wonder if we're going to need the uh, breathing I apparatus. I dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this mobile cover system. Get ready to head into, you gotta kill two people at the start of the mission, and then you go to work. Well, don't spoil it, real! Okay. Uh, Zero Dawn was so good, I put 250 hours on Forbidden West and found a disappointment in comparison. Why is that? I feel like the games are, see, the thing is, I, I don't compare the two games against each other because when you look at Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West, they're, I, I don't look at them as like two games that compete. I look at this as an extension, like like more of the same. And this game does everything the first game did. The story is just different. You know what I mean, I felt like the the, the 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 story in Zero Dawn was really really well, done really really well well because it was a mystery. You didn't know what the fuck was going on. And now you're kind of we we got past that point. We know what's going on. 
and now it's just more, you know what I mean? Now we're, the, the world's getting bigger, things are getting more advanced and things like that. But it's, it, I, I don't look at it as like, oh, you're like Zero Dawn's story was better than Forbidden West. It's like, no, it was just a different part of the same story, you know what I mean? That's how I look at it, at least I don't compare the two stories. Um, it's all the same story, that was just the first part of it, this is the second part of it. Because when you look at it all in a whole, all at once, it's it's all super, super great together. These must be the machines that Gendas and Rashavid were talking about. God damn. Well, these are not machines I'm looking forward to fighting. Two wide maws, which we could take. As long as we can get him 1v1. Is the other one over here too? Did you just shit on me? Oh wow, that actually worked. I'll save the extra stock for later. If we can get that that stealth hit on him, it's big damage. Uh, it almost it's almost half half of its life. Yeah, it only weak to purge.
but there's much here. But these ruins fall off into the water. Won't be able to dive too deep, though. So I, I can't even push this part like I want to yet. I should take a look at the ruins under the water. See if I can find any clues. Casper, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, I don't even think I'll be, like I said, I don't think I'll be able to do this one because I won't be able to get down deep enough. I know you get a breathing apparatus later on in the game that allows you to like really mess around underwater. So we're going to have to come back to this when we get that breathing apparatus. I don't even remember where you get that from either. Let's finish this. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Casper. I hope the night's getting. I hope your day's getting better, though. in any combat situation why the high grounds that's where you want to be man it's just science dude the way angles work it's so much harder to shoot somebody that's up high because of the way angles work compared to shooting down at somebody it's way easier if somebody's up above you behind cover compared to somebody who's down below you behind cover um, the people who are up above, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, if they're up there, just by angles, they, all they have to do is back up, and I can't hit them, you know what I mean? Plus, uh, arrows, anything, you, you know, it, it, the way bullet drop and all that works, trying to shoot up is, is way harder than shooting down. Then, on top of that, the main reason, like, even back in the day, why, while they, why they sit claim, you know, high ground is better, because... A lot of people don't take into account because you're playing a video game where like if you were to try to walk like even up something like this you know what i mean like as a normal person trying to scale this it ain't happening you're, and if you do get up there you're gonna be so motherfucking tired by the time you get up there that the people standing up there is gonna whack you in the head once you get up there you know what i mean like they're just standing up there chilling you're exerting so much energy to try to just get to where they are um, yeah, it's just an effort, an effort thing too. you know, walking up a hill, even if it's a slight grade like this, like, I guarantee if most of us were standing here and we had to walk up this grade right here, yo, we're going to feel the burn in them thighs by the time we get up, just that right there. You can get to the top of your like, God damn, thighs are burning. You know what I mean? So. How am I supposed to tell them that he failed? Speak the truth, plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life, 
Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but... What about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in Plainsong. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Cores won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura. I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. There it is. Leoric Semper Fi, brother, how you doing today? All right, let's see what other what other what other missions do we have over here? I know we were trying to clear the area up a bit um, before heading out. We do have this uh, mission here where we can go to the Western Ridge. Let's push it into the west a little bit. We already did the hunting grounds, survey drone. Okay, yeah, yeah. So let's push down. I want to check out this. Finish up this mission first. Yes. Ready, lady? Have I done Poseidon yet? No, no, we haven't. Um, we haven't. We just got to the point where we're supposed to be heading out west. Um, the first one we chose to go after was e Aether, I think, because it was the lower level mission and the closer one to us. 
Uh, Poseidon's the one in Vegas, right? The lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakhs took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Shell snapper. Who hasn't seen us yet? Oh. We can use that. Hawk and thrush, just like old times. Shit. Damn, I don't even remember how to fight these things. Would I rate this game out of a ten? Easily, a probably an eight or a nine. Yeah, this game's pretty top tier. Uh, combat's fun, dialogue's good. It, it, I think it ha I feel like it has a little bit of everything for everybody. Yeah, the Horizon series really is one of my, it, it, you know, it's that post-apocalyptic, but it, it's it's got a it's got a really nice vibe to it. Um, so these things are weak to fire and acid. We can definitely capitalize on that. Um. Wow, you can detach its whole entire shell off. Okay, so it has guns on its back too. Shoots frost. Um, it's got speakers here that we could hit. For a chain reaction for lightning. A lot of these components are a pain in my ass. Those are buried in the shell, though. I can't even hit those without re revealing the armor first. All right, so let's see here. Let's get this all prepped up. It's weak to fire, and it's weak to acid, so we can probably set some traps up here. Wait, let me see what its path is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could definitely set up a nice... Acid traps there. Did that even do anything? Honey, brother, so good to see you, man. How you been, dude? We're doing good, man. Doing good. It's good to see you, bro. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that didn't do jack shit. Kidding me, it literally Okay, so that's gonna be our our fire trap set up. The fuck? Why did that just happen? Chat, what is going on? Good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. Oh, jeez. For being so big, man, those, they really, really move, don't they? It's a dead end. Looks like. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second side can help. This note was left by an Osirum. <laughs> Delving hey, into Dam. Glad you're back. I know. It says he's moving on. Hmm. I wonder where to. I'm gonna weigh in over here. This door needs some kind of code to open. Does not look like there's anything I can do now?
Bunch of Osram supplies. A dead end. Lana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? Is this her man? What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. Hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. There it is. So this doesn't even bring you west. I thought I thought it was going to bring us to the actual about her friend. other this side, but it I didn't. Do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. All right, so we got plenty of skill points I can spend right now. to save just finish the uh, SOT, SOD2 video awesome as always I think you need to get high around it yeah well old fart according to undead labs um, I did watch the end of their stream and there are gonna be some like uh, new ways to challenge yourself with the curveball system you're going to be able to turn on only bad curveballs and you're going to be able to like make them worse and co constant so um when that system does go into the ptr the first playthrough we're going to do with that new system here should be this week is i'm going to play on lethal zone i'm going to try to turn only the bad curveballs on i'm going to make them as hard as possible and um see if we could beat it he was talking about like spamming black hearts all over the place like you could literally just have all the black hearts and i'm like dude i'm so it might be it might be uh we'll see if we could beat state of decay 2 at its absolute hardest uh probably not i'll probably lose but i'm not gonna hold that back i'm gonna go 100 on that playthrough just to see if i can really beat it okay so we're gonna fast travel back to um I'm just going to see what this is. The survey drone real quick. I mean, I've never seen one, Patrick, but if they say they exist, then we'll see. To me, they still don't exist, but... I don't know, I don't know if these are worth doing. I don't even remember what these are exactly, so that's why we're gonna go check it out right now, see what the survey drone thing is.
Nah, Leonard, yeah, none of them really rival Dark Side, but Dark Side was also. Um, there was a lot of things in Dark Side that made it easier, too. Um, ways to definitely take advantage and exploit. Jump onto that drone to get it back. And then it was either that or it was just so unbalanced it wasn't fun, you know what I mean? Like I heard that the the newer dark side play cards, a lot most people didn't even really play them, they just so OP. That's the thing with difficulty is it has to like hard is cool, but it still has to be fun, you know what I mean? Or it just starts to get into a, the realm of this is not even, it's so hard that it's like not even really possible. And it, yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy that kind of difficult. That's why when, when we were doing dark side, uh, originally it was all, um, it was all relatively balanced somewhat. not a big area to fight in at all. Exactly, Leonard. That, that's the thing is like there's so many ways to make so many better ways to make <laughs> things hard than just making it take a, a lot of You know like 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 some game a lot of games. That's how they they Increase the difficulty and it's just it is what it is. You know what I mean? But they'll say you know instead of taking a hundred bullets to kill us now It's gonna take you a thousand and that's it's like yeah I mean it doesn't necessarily make it harder. It just kind of makes it Grindier and take longer, but for some reason some game companies think that because it takes longer that necessarily means um, It's it's harder. I, I don't believe so. I just find it at that point. That's where shit just kind of gets annoying for me You know things like you know what they did with the black play cards I, I felt like were very good changes. I never would have thought of um, for state of decay play cards to make them more difficult, you know, like slowly draining your health while you're in there and, and things like that like that That's that's really cool stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, we're gonna wait for that to come back um, Making it so the zombies are immune to fire and you know, like like that type of shit is very very uh, Like you got to actually play around stuff like that. You know what I mean compared to just oh instead of you know 20 molotovs now I just got to use 70 like yeah, it makes it harder resource-wise, but it, that necessarily isn't very fun for me. So I think we could jump on it right here, right? Got it. Taking you with me. Going down. <laughs> the drone's data. <coughs> so I have no clue what that was for. We got the drone, but I, I don't know what we can do with it. So there's that. But we did get the drone, so... Alright, so let's get a campsite. And then uh, we're going to head out west. I want to start exploring out there a little bit.
The curveball does tell the black. I, I, I heard that you have to, but in order to find out what the weakness of the black play card is, don't you have to, like, do something? I thought there was something you had to do specifically in order to reveal what that heart's play card, or that, that heart's uh, weakness was. I know they don't just give it to you. Check this real quick. The slicing shredder gauntlet. This one I've been using right now, and it's it's decent. Um, it actually was knocking down the enemies pretty good. Oh wow. Let's head out back to base here. So we're finally heading out west, guys. When you use its weakness, it will tell you. I have no idea yet. I. I I, I thought somebody said something about you had to like go and kill certain zombies or something and I, I, I don't know it was just We'll find out though once I do get a chance to fight one I'll I'll try to figure it out break it down Go. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But DBS hopefully girl, what's I'll going have on? Of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Alright, so now we're in yo, this this biome is super gorgeous, dude. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes.
nice chat. Right, let's keep him moving. Hurry up and wait, what's going on? How you doing? So first things first, we need to locate the long neck in this region. Um, Poseidon's down south here. We're going after Aether. We got the cauldron up there. Black box meeting. Okay, so we're going to hit this first. Ooh, got a mission up here. These are the sky people, aren't they? Are these the sky people? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight. Yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. You talking about Appreciate a... Appreciate the warning. Cauldron? Yep. Safe travels, champion. Yep, cauldron. I plan on checking that uh, anyways as soon as we get this. A cauldron. There's a cauldron. There's machine overrides. I want to get that claw shider override as soon as possible. Got you. This terrain here looks like a whole motherfucking planet, dude. They're on the fucking. on a completely different planet. Do I have there it is chat merch? Uh, I think we have there it is merch. I don't remember. I'd have to look at our, the merch, uh, the merch page.
Ooh, Ravagers. Doesn't look like there's any way to climb this tall neck. Oh, is this one locked, chat? For a flying mount? Yeah, I think this one's a mission locked by a flying mount. I mean, it's all good. We could just... We'll, we'll just have to clear through the area ourselves. Did have a quest up here. Should we push up to this... You know, let's get the lay of the land. Let's talk to the peeps here at, at whatever this area is. And then we'll go from there. Is that a thunder jaw? It is. Oh, fuck. Look at this area, dude. Was this... This had to have been a body of water. It's all dried out and shit now. We tried fighting a... Uh, we tried fighting a uh, Thunderjaw already. That thing fucking killed me in one hit. It was bad. Granny Punching merch. We got the Granny Punching Academy uh, sweater. Dude, we're killing a lot of animals. Straight on some Red Dead stuff here. Oh, it was a whole pigeon. Not headquarters, isn't it? Ancient. Turned into a tiny stronghold. Could ether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Fucking fighter jets. Regala's army only grows in strength. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but- Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. 
who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regal. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room. At the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. I mean, are th these records, I'm, I'm pretty sure I listened to them the first time through. They better be epic, chat. Come, Because they worship it's these things. Glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force 10 at you. Led by the the ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. We must have passed through their territory on the way here. They did. They sound a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Hey, up. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. 
but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it, and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. I never did that. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. Let's see what she gives us. Damn, she's got Thunderjaw. She's got some good stuff, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on buying something right now. Just until I find out if I what I need. I don't, don't want to buy something here. randomly. You know what they I mean? Will be remembered. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Yeah, this game is completely separate from um, Death Stranding. I'm ready. Good. Come. Uh, Trick, I hope you enjoy it, man. Yeah, no, that, that Batman game is fire, dude. It's a good time. soon outlander the savior of meridian i am told you held back regalus forces outside barren light and defeated her champion grutta in single combat impressive i met fashav there too he said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. 
I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool group with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. It's pretty cool, though. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor challenged me before the marshals. Then what happened, bro? Did you... What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. What exactly is the Cool Root? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the Cool Root. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. I think we get to partake in that, don't we? You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. 
which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old ones spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the Old Ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines, and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. We'll see. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. What headphones do I have? I, I use Steel Series um, Artist Pro wireless headphones. I had the wired ones for a very, very long time. And then I... Uh, I just switched over to the wireless ones like last year at some point. Come, let us speak. What do you got for me, Decca? Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Terrible directions. Uh, tear precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp shot bows. These powerful arrows deal high tear damage with compressed air blasts. Yes. Is that on mine? Yeah, this right here. Nice, we got a new sharp shot. Um, let me see, is there a bench here? Hey, 
If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Hikaru. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Right, hold on, we're gonna head back over here really quick. I need to, uh... need to upgrade for some reason this place doesn't have a bench in it well maybe it's maybe it's in here what's this place oh here we go trade heard of you outlander gates are shut i guess i'll have to come back later do not uh so they got a hunter bow here See, this is what I'm looking for, guys. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yep, so I can I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this hunter bow. So I needed one that had fire attached to it. That way I could get rid of the the double bows that I'm um I'm using. So we'll grab this. See? And then what I'll be able to do is Cause my warrior bow here where's my warrior bow i had a warrior bow i think it might be in my my locker you that was uh acid and um and shock Yeah, melodic. That's what I was saying. Yo, I'm like, what are, what's up with these directions? Walk up to your legs burn, and you feel like, like, like hey, go north, and it's like, you know, like, like, give me real directions, lady. I don't have an acid water well. I'll find this in my stash later. So this sharp shot's gonna be nice. So we need snap moss sack webbing and bellow back sap. Ooh. Bellow backs are big machines if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i believe they're like the spinos another so we need two bellow back Ugh. We'll see how this whole thing works out for us. Freaking bellowbacks. Whoa, Melodic with the 10 gifted, man. Thank you so much. Seriously, I really, really appreciate the love. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. We just gotta follow this path north.
data to override that machine might be in another culture. Under jaw over there too. Yeah, fucking thunder jaw sight over that way. Roller back. So yeah, now we're in Sky Clan territory. I love this environment, man. It's dope. up that way. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Catello should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. See what they have for sale. They got a bellow bat blast spike thrower. And then a hammer burst bolt blaster. Oh yeah, I forgot about the damn bolt blaster. It's close. It's one of the closest things you're going to get to a gun in this game. I'm pretty sure these get pretty strong too later on in the game. You could really shred with them. But we need a sung wing circulator in order to get that. Return to me another time. Yeah, they got a sun wing shield caster here, but we could always go check the um the Osram trader. Is 
that the champion from the east I see? Then I've something to share. What about it? Turns out it was caused by a slaughter spot. A hundred killer of that. Is it still up there? It's rusting carcass. Word is the chief champion took it head on. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Easterner. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you. They say you're a skilled fighter, Outlander. But I wonder how well you'd do against Ureo, one of our combat trainers at the Bulwark. Pretty sure I can hold my own, but it's always room to learn. Well said. Pay Ureo a visit if you can. Maybe I will. Very fun. Another melee pit here. Like <laughs> yeah, look at this area, dude. with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. And we should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. This dude's super pissed. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. This dude is really... Really not an, I mean, I, mean, I, I get it, he lost his arm. He Why feels useless, Regalus but- forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something, something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I don't know about that. 
But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. You were at the Embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other Marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. On me. So these are the cleaving sharp shot. Tear precision, precision. Okay, we're good. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the Chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Rebels ahead, hacking away at that machine. Got them, or sneak around. I will follow. I'm more of a gut em kind of guy, you know what I mean? Big guy with a shield there. See if we can distract this one to come over here. Hey. Got into me. We were right to have a look around. Watching this in the pub, Eric? Well, I hope you're having a good night, man. <laughs> the 
those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a full sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Take the lead. Nothing's happening in this cold. Anyway. Stay alert, soldier. Come on, man. You can get some training in. How's your day? Well, I lost my toast to frostbite. Thanks for asking. Stay calm. Keep still now. False alarm. Call it off. Just so you know, I'm asking for another ship. You're the worst. What's the word? Down. The clan commanders are fools for backing Hakaro. All quiet out there? Another watch. Another long watch. Got her. Finish that wretch. Blunder into us. Burn! Quite so strong it's painful. Going snowblind. I must have run when they saw me coming. Uh, Simeon, well, welcome. I hope you're having a good night. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched. There you are. We were discussing something when you left. Ah. Uh, 
By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well, maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. I can see why one would think it's impenetrable. We should not delay. Yeah, I'll be doing another stream after this. I don't know exactly what we're playing yet. I gotta check the list. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. And holy shit with the 32 months. How you doing today, brother? Seriously, I hope you're having a good day. This is our home. We should stay to the end. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me or when they stopped and stared. I was melting on my clothes. Great. Your enemy is mine. <clears throat> We're here for Takote. Let us in. <clears throat> my man eating like that. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now, to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield.
You were a great warrior once. But that was then. You tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? Because we gonna break it. <laughs> We're gonna go straight Lara Croft on it. That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. <laughs> that rush of air. Beaten already, Outlander. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall, near that waterfall. Breaking the wall already, chat. Now, better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. Cote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? But don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. The Rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, 
Perhaps I'll tell you. We're getting close oh, we'll to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Blown up, squad! Soon we much. march! Well, my the Sky Clan will fast. fall! Not kill this dude up here. Check this fucking thing. So it's weak the frost. It's got some plasma cannons on it. Shot cannons on the back. Amplifying sack. Heat sink.
Cannons off. I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Cannon.
Ravager cannon. Got it. That Ravager cannon absolutely shred like all, all of the wep the machine weapons shredded. Could have used this too. to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. That was a hey. good fight, guys. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive, but killing the rebels and the machine, it was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Oh, no, soon enough. need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Nothing's exploding. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you. Done. 
Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. There it is, guys. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, <laughs> and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Let's say after after I blow it up, let, let me let's go make sure everybody's okay. Katal was pretty cool. Like he was an asshole at first, but uh, you know we're we're growing on him. He, he he's he's starting to feel us a little bit. I don't know what this is. And the cauldron is over this way, so we could easily go hit that. Yeah, I'm already out leveling the main quest pretty pretty good. I'm actually high enough level to almost do all of the quest. We're leveling quite quickly. All right, guys, but we're going to end this one here a little short. Um, I started a little late today because I had, to, I had to go grab my son and stuff from school, but uh, I appreciate you guys again for coming and hanging out. We will be doing one more stream tonight, but um, remember, if you guys are enjoying this Forbidden West um, content and you want to see more, best thing to do, smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys want to see more. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, if I don't see you guys in the next stream, have a great rest of your night. And uh, for everybody else, again, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.